This is the plaintiff, Kayla. She says she and the defendant have been friends since they were eight years old. And the last place she thought they'd be is in court fighting about money he owes her. She laid out money for him for a trip to Miami. They got into a rip roar and fight. He smashed her phone, and now she can't seem to get him to pay her what he owes. She's not going to be out all this money in a long time, friend or not. She's suing here and now for the return of $3,374.89. This is the defendant, Tyler. He says he and the plaintiff did indeed get into a fight, and she pushed him to the brink, and he threw her phone at her, and he's not going to give her a penny because she stole from him, and he wants his valuable property returned. As far as paying for her entire trip to Miami because they got into an argument and she had a bad time, ha! Good luck with that one. He's accused of a phoner fight. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, nobody wants our last name. Kayla, you're suing Tyler for $3,374.89 for your iPhone and your trip to Miami, which, according to you, he ruined by getting sloppy drunk. Yes. All right, talk to me. What happened? So it was five of us in total. We all planned to go on a trip. Where were you going? To Miami. Of course. So yeah, it was a how five old of us. are you? I'm 20. Okay, and how old was everybody else? Tyler's 21. Matthew's 19. I'm not sure of his girlfriend's age, and Isaiah, I'm not sure of his age either. So you stay at an Airbnb. Yes. Your flight is $340. Round trip. And he rents the car. Yes, we put it into his name because he was 21 years old. Okay, so he's the only one who could rent the car. Yeah. All right, so you go out the first night, and where do you go? We went to a hookah lounge on the Strip of Miami. So... What's the Strip of Miami? Yeah, I don't know that one. Are you referring <laughs> to South Beach? Are you referring to downtown? Yeah, it was South where? Beach. South, South Beach? Beach? Okay, so it's not Miami. It's actually Miami Beach. Okay. And uh, I'm a little bit familiar with the area. <laughs> and so you went to a hookah lounge. You don't know which one? No. Okay, and then what? So we was upstairs. Everybody was having a good time, smoking hookah. Chilling and Tyler had way too many drinks. He was very drunk. We left the, the lounge at this point He was acting very violent. How? He, I have a video of the way he was acting walking down the strip. This is before you guys get in the car. Yes. Yeah, let's see it Okay Oh, you were in no condition to drive. <laughs> uh, I wasn't drunk. That's not him being violent. That's not what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm well, seeing you guys telling him, no, we're not going to give you the keys. You're too drunk to drive, which was good. Who are you? I'm the witness. I'm his girlfriend. Okay, come on up. Let's sit. And who are you? Were you on that trip, too? Yes, yes we Stand all up. were on that trip. All right. All right. Oh, I'm only missing one person from the trip? Yes. yes. Oh, he, he awesome. He couldn't make it. All right, so what happens after this? You're walking to the car. By the way, where were you driving to? Back to the Airbnb. Which was where, in Miami Beach? Ventura. Aventura. Aventura. Yeah, that's, that's quite a bit of a drive on I-95 to get from one place to the, from point A to point B. Yes. It's like a 15 minutes for a bunch of people who've been drinking. Maybe driving wasn't the best idea. Maybe the, a better idea is that you all share an Uber from one place to the other. Have you heard of Uber? Yeah. It's this new thing now. There's an app and everything. <laughs> you know? So we get to the car now. We're discussing, bickering back and forth that I should drive. They was insisting that Who's Tyler... Who's they? The two of them? The girlfriend and Isaiah... Just to try to defuse the situation, they was insisting that Tyler should drive because the car is in his name. So I gave him my phone to use for the GPS. So he did drive. So now we proceeded to get into the car. He's the driver. He's in the driver's seat. The girlfriend's in the passenger. We're all in the back. His left hand is on the steering wheel. His right hand is holding my phone for the GPS. At this point, it's pouring down raining. We got onto the highway. He's swerving into other lanes. He's missing the exits. Blasting the music, I tapped the girlfriend. I said, excuse me, can you turn the music down? So then I was like, you know, Tyler, you need, the defendant, I'm like, you need to relax, turn the music down. 
and I think you should pull over and we need to switch seats because I'm scared at this point. You're swerving and it's pouring. It's just, it was a, it was a wreck. So we get into an argument back and forth, back and forth. At this point, he pulls over really abruptly where we jerked really hard. My head hit the back of the seat. And he said, since you know so much, I'm going to get out and you get in the, the driver's seat and you drive B. Okay. So, okay, I'm like, all right. So he gets out the car. I'm thinking he's coming into the back seat. So I hop to the front. Instead of getting in the back seat, he gets in front of the car with the headlights facing him. Just how you're staring at me here, this is how he's looking at me outside of the car. With my phone in his hand, he's deliberately staring at me. Starts slamming my phone, stomping on slamming it. Slamming your phone against what? The ground. Oh, so he throws he, it down. He slammed my phone on the ground, he's stomping on it, he picked it back up and he did it again. So I get out the car to ask, what's the problem? Like, why are you doing that? Then he proceeds to punch me in my face. I have two black eyes, I have pictures and all of that. Can I see that? Well, you have the iPad still? Yeah. yeah. So what did you do? So at that point where he punched me, it was that hard of a hit. I fell to the floor. All of my stuff was out of my pockets. Then that's when everybody else this got out the car. This is all on I-95? Yes, on the side of a highway, raining. So then that's when everybody starts to get out the car. Then he, him and Matthew starts to get into an argument. I'm just trying to pick up all my belongings. My wig came off, picking up my wig. I went to the driver's seat. I'm like, Matthew, Isaiah, let's go. At this point, he's banging on the, the windows, kicking, acting like a orangutan. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. So and? then we, we was like, everybody, well, Matthew and Isaiah, they're just like, you know, I think it's best for us to drive off. He's just not in the right state of mind. So, so you like, left him and her on the side of the road? I left him. On the side of the road like yep. that? All right. So then what so happens? So I drive off. We went into Walgreens parking lot. That's when I called my mother. We're calling parents and we're just like, like, we don't know what to do. Like this trip is gonna, it was, this is the first day. What did your mom say to you? My mom thought it was best that I should come home. All right, and so you're suing for numerous things. You're suing for the cost of your old phone, which he damaged. But you also want him to pay for a new phone. Yes. Well, that's weird. You don't think that that's a little greedy? Because you, no. you'd be making a bonanza. Because then the old phone didn't cost you anything and the new phone doesn't cost you anything. So right there, you should be paying for one phone, right? Like yeah, the rest but of us. I was looking right. at it yeah, as far yeah, as... Yeah, I know how you're looking at it. All right, then <laughs> the flight, you're suing for the flight and you're sh basically the cost of the trip because now the trip is a disaster. Yes. Yeah. Now you have a Snapchat. Do you have something, some other evidence where he admits that he was drunk? Yes, I do have a picture of him on Snapchat stating he's calling me and him out of our name saying this is for the stripper hoe and the that said I can't drink and drive. So he's basically admitting it. So he's incriminating himself. Let me see that. So, let's chat. Mm. Mm. Okay. What happened that night? All right, so I pulled over on the side of the highway. Kayla and Matthew were drunk and they was talking to me way too aggressively and I didn't like that. So I was cursing at them, but they was, you know, they matched my energy. They was doing the same exact thing. So I said, I mentioned something about, you know, Matthew being a and then he hit why, me. Why would you do that? It, was, it wasn't right. I, I know it wasn't right, okay. but I couldn't that. And then you called her a stripper hoe? In no. The, no, mean, you didn't? She's a stripper, but I didn't call her a stripper hoe. Did you hoe. call her? Okay, for the and the stripper hoes that I That's why that I, said I can't drink and drive. That, that is not the night of. That is way after the fact. After Where you everything. were also drinking and driving. No. From me saying the comment about him being a he hit me. And then we started fighting from there. But in the meanwhile, I had Kayla's phone in my hand. She was right about that. I had her phone in my hand from the GPS. So when he hit me, the phone was on the floor and we was fighting over it. And then- oh, You were fighting over the phone? Yes. Why? Like fighting literally over the phone, not because of oh, the phone. Okay. Yeah, we were fighting okay. over the phone. So it felt, mind you, Kayla did not have any protection, no phone case, nothing, nothing to protect her phone. So when it dropped, it broke. Okay. And then me and Matthew continued fighting. How did fighting. she end up with a black eye? I, she didn't have a black eye when I saw her. Okay, she has, I mean, it's not a full-blown black eye, but it's clearly an eye that's been hit and swollen. Nah, I don't know. Okay. Um, do, were you left on the side of the road? Yes. What'd you guys do? I called the police, and then I told, her, I told them what the situation was. I told them that, you know, friends I came here with stole the rental, left me and my girlfriend on the side of the highway. 
That's, and that's true. Because if the car rental's not in your name, you don't have any business driving it off. You have a business saying, pull over, I'm getting out of the car, and calling the police yourselves, and saying, we need a ride, there was a drunk driver, this is, you know, whatever. But you don't get to leave them on the side of the road and take a car that's not registered to you. So what did they end up doing? Did the police end up catching up with you or no? No. I so what happened? They had me wait for an hour because we were still on the highway. I had to jump down into somebody's backyard. Oh, and I was are dangerous. you out of your mind? It's Miami! Yeah, but no, I had no, no, we other shoot way. people jumping into our backyard. It's a stand your ground state. Mm -hmm. Are you crazy? Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, when friends get together and drink and get drunk, does it generally end up fun and happy or bad? I think it all depends on the person's personality, really. Well, when you mix a lot of people with different personalities, good or bad? I'd say bad. Why? Because you just don't know how alcohol affects each person, and if they're in an emotional state, drama can come out. You're nodding. Look, this has happened to you, dude. <laughs> it's never happened to me, but I can tell you I've seen it happen to friends, and it always ends bad. It happened to you. Come on. I, it hasn't happened to me. Shh going inside the courtroom. You ended up waiting an hour for the police? Yes, for the police to come. And then when they finally came, the, I told them I wanted to make a police report, but then they said that would take another hour. It was already three in the morning, so I wanted to go home at that point. So he suggested I just call an Uber and if anything, handle it tomorrow. Mind you, they still have the rental. So you ended up calling Uber at the end? Yeah, for no reason. And you reason. have the app in your phone? Yes. Why well, you I called a Lyft, a Lyft. A Lyft, same thing. Yeah. Okay. Not same thing, not same mm -hmm. thing. But all right, so then you end up getting back to the Airbnb and are they there? No, they're going and all the rest of their stuff are going. Okay, so you guys stayed in Miami? Yes. And you had more space and did you have a pleasant time? Yes. I will. Did you did you feel? Uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. We Let's made the best of it considering all Were that Were you guys that good friends before this? Yes, Matthew's my next door neighbor and Kayla is always next door. Wow, so, um, did you do you know what happened to her phone or it was all um so they they are they're fighting now Matthew and Tyler How did are fighting. the fight between Matthew and Tyler break out? Tyler said a, a comment, a Tyler very wrong good. comment. Tyler said a comment and Matthew swung at him. So now they're fighting. I I was in the middle, me and Kayla alone, we were in the middle. She's not the only one that wig fell off. My wig fell off as well. We Your were what? in wig, my you hair. Fell off? Yes. So, <laughs> so <It's a> disaster. <laughs> so um they were fighting and the phone fell. So it's like it's an iPhone. Anything. Yeah, you, you have her iPhone in your hand, and mm. then you, you end up in a fist fight mm, and you swung. drop it. So and you you know, I mean you provoke the fist fight by it sounds like you were looking for it, to pull the car over and say, and then, you know, say something to him that you f felt was, go was gonna cause it. But either way, you're a guy holding a phone and you drop it. So how is it that someone else but you should pay for the phone? What I'm is not, it? I'm trying to figure out. What... I try to negotiate payment with her. But... Okay, so you recognize that you should be paying for the phone. Yes, I, I, Okay. right away. Now, she has something of yours, correct? Yes. What is it she has of yours? My Alexander McQueen scarf. It was in the car when she drove w off with the car and hit the rental. Had you purchased it just for this trip? Yes. And it, w it cost you how much? At 300, about $350. And wh where is the scarf? I have the scarf. I took the scarf out of the car for collateral because he broke my phone. So I was gonna hold it until he gave me money back. Why did you bring the scarf today? I forgot it. Is there anything damaged to the scarf? Well, the way he gave it to me, it was like hanging off of one, like the tag it of it you. was like hanging off of like one piece of string. Well, the tag of it, I, I, yeah, the, that's yeah. about it. That's it, right? But it's in good shape, yeah. right? It better be. Because here's what's gonna happen. I think that it might be one of the um, best things you've ever done to say, you know what, we're coming home. Um, however, sometimes in life we make good decisions and someone else doesn't have to pay for the good decision. In terms of you leaving and the cost of your trip, that is a decision that you make and they do, he does not have to pay for that. In terms of the phone, he doesn't have to pay you twice for the phone. I do agree that he has to pay you for the phone that broke, whatever the circumstances, and that's $749.99. However, I'm going to order him to pay you for the phone minus all of the lift charges that they have as a result of you taking the car. So that's a sum total judgment for you in the amount of $704.47, assuming that you return the scarf in good condition. That's my judgment. Good luck, mm. folks. 
Well, the plaintiff prevails, doesn't get nearly what she was seeking. She doesn't get the trip costs and everything else. Tyler has come out. You okay with the outcome? No, I'm not okay with it, but, you know, she finessed people's court, not me, so. Let me ask you a question. Your next door neighbors, is that right? Yes. Now that she sued you, and, and both of them live next door to you, right? Mm -hmm. Are you Can you still be friends with them, or how are you going to live at this point with them right, no. right so close? We can be friends, and hopefully, you know, <laughs> she stay on the pole and out of my pockets because... You, you don't want to have anything to do with it. No, not It was at not all. a good trip, was it? Mm -mm. I had a fun. You did? Yeah, That's, I enjoyed doesn't, myself. Doesn't Once sound like life, it. I had fun. All That's right, good. well, thank you very much, all okay? Right. Thank you. All right, here comes Kayla. She's the plaintiff. You know, how do you feel about the outcome? What, and, and not only that, but this friendship. You live so close to him. What's going to happen no, now? No, that's his neighbor. Okay, but I, I thought you lived near, very no, near. No, I'm just at the house a lot. Oh, you're there a lot. Yeah. Well, what's going to happen when you run into each other I after won't. this? There, there's no type of nothing. Really? Nothing. You okay with that? You're going to return the scarf so they get it Yeah, right? he can have his dingy scarf. Finally, i got to ask you. you got great hair. Why were you wearing a wig? <laughs> what kind of wig was it? Um, I don't know. These are wigs. Like, I don't know. I make wigs for a living. So. Oh, you do? That yeah. a wig you're wearing? Yes. Gee, what? Well, <laughs> looks good. <laughs> okay, you fooled me. You all right? Yes. I'm okay, right. good. Glad you're all right. Thank you. Congratulations. Harvey? Okay, Doug, look. Unless he gave her the scarf specifically as collateral, she is not allowed to keep it. And that will do it for this case, litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.